Have you ever wondered about the hidden world of parasites that coexist with us, sometimes within us? Well, welcome to the intricate universe of parasitology, the study of these fascinating organisms and their relationships with their hosts. Parasites, organisms that depend on their, their host for survival, can be as small as microscopic protozoa or as large as worms. They come in a variety of forms including helminths which are worms and ectoparasites like ticks and lice. The study of these organisms is not just for curiosity's sake. Its significance extends to medicine, veterinary science and ecology. Parasites can cause diseases in humans, animals and plants and can even shape ecosystems. Diving into parasitology, we uncover a world of complex interactions, fascinating life cycles, and a broad spectrum of organisms. Parasitology opens up a world of complex interactions and fascinating life cycles that are crucial for understanding and controlling diseases. Parasites come in many shapes and sizes, each with its modes of survival. These fascinating organisms can be broadly classified into three main categories, protozoa, helminths, and ectoparasites. First up, we have protozoa. These are single-celled microscopic organisms that may seem small, but they can cause big problems. Protozoa, like Plasmodium and Giardia, are known offenders in the world of infectious diseases. They have complex life cycles, often involving multiple stages of development and different host organisms. Next up are helminths, or worms. These are multicellular organisms that can be seen without a microscope. They are further classified into nematodes or roundworms and platyhelminthes which include trematodes or flukes and cystodes or tapeworms. Ascaris and hookworms are examples of nematodes while schistosoma and fasciola are well-known trematodes. Tania and echinococcus do their damage as custodes. Each type of helminth has a unique morphology and life cycle adding layers to their survival strategies. Finally, we have ectoparasites. These are parasites that live on the surface of their host rather than inside the host's body. The most common examples are arthropods such as ticks, mites, lice and fleas. These creatures are not just nuisances, they can also be vectors for disease transmission, carrying pathogens from one host to another. Each type of parasite has its own distinct life cycle, which can be direct, involving one host or indirect involving multiple hosts this life cycle plays a crucial role in the spread and control of parasitic diseases understanding the different types of parasites and their life cycles helps us comprehend the complexities of parasitic diseases the more we know about these creatures the better equipped we are to prevent and treat the diseases they cause so let's dive deeper into the fascinating world of parasitology and reveal the secrets of these unseen invaders. The relationship between a parasite and its host is a delicate balance of survival strategies. Parasites can have different types of hosts, definitive hosts where they reach maturity and reproduce, intermediate hosts where they undergo various development stages, and reservoir hosts which serve as a backup when definitive and intermediate hosts are unavailable. The interaction between the host and parasite is influenced by various factors. For instance, the host's immune response plays a critical role in determining whether a parasitic infection will establish itself or be thwarted. Genetic susceptibility of the host can also play a part, making some individuals more prone to certain parasitic infections than others. In the game of survival, parasites have developed mechanisms to cause disease or pathogenesis. This may involve direct tissue damage or more cunning strategies like evading the host's immune system. The battle between host and parasite is a dynamic process with each trying to outsmart the other. The impact of parasitic diseases stretches beyond the individual and can have far-reaching effects on society and the environment. Economically, these diseases can lead to significant productivity losses and increased healthcare costs. So Socially, they can lead to stigma and discrimination, particularly in communities where they are most prevalent. Environmentally, parasitic diseases can affect wildlife populations, altering ecosystems in profound ways. Globally, the distribution of these diseases is uneven, with certain areas experiencing higher rates due to factors like poor sanitation, poverty and travel. 
For instance, malaria, a disease caused by the protozoan parasite Plasmodium, is most common in sub-Saharan Africa. Similarly, neglected tropical diseases, a group of parasitic and bacterial diseases, are most prevalent in the world's poorest regions. Parasitic diseases pose significant challenges to global health, but understanding them is the first step towards effective control and prevention.